Shares with differential voting rights DVRs have outperformed their ordinary shares in 2016. This is for the third consecutive year that the DVR shares of Future Enterprise, Gujarat and Ari Coke and Jane Irrigation have churned out better returns as compared to their ordinary shares. While the Future Enterprises DVR shares which are barely trading at any discount to that of their ordinary shares for the year have given return of around 20.19%. This is versus the loss of 15.40% witnessed by the ordinary shares. While Gujarat and Ari Coke too has outperformed, the price differential between the DVRs and the ordinary shares is around 8% which is the least since these DVRs have been issued. The DVRs have outperformed the ordinary shares by a margin of around 10.20% while the ordinary shares have posted a loss of around 12.85% for the year. Lastly, we have Jane Irrigation, the price differential of which between the DVRs and the ordinary shares is around 33.71%. Well, the outperformance of DVRs with that of ordinary shares is by a thin margin but nevertheless it's there. The DVRs have outperformed and have given a gain of around 30.64% for the year as compared to the ordinary shares return of around 27.49%. The only exception to this is Tata Motors, the DVRs for which have not outperformed their ordinary shares and have fetched a return of around 4% with that of gains of around 21% seen by that of their ordinary shares in 2016. So what's fueling this DVR rally? The analysts explained that the growing demand seen in the mid-cap DVRs is more so coming in from retail investors who are interested in earning a little extra in stock for sacrificing a few voting rights which are rarely exercised though. On the other hand, the analysts explained that the FII interest in Tata Motors and more so in the voting rights has actually led to a better outperformance of ordinary shares as compared to that of their DVR shares. That's the chart of the day. This is Nikki for Bloomberg Quint.